I think this needs to be done. <laughs> you know the saying? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Donnie Anderson is a sheep farmer near <laughs> Dublin, Ireland. The lockdown has not stopped him from keeping up with his normal grooming routine. He is very adept with the shears. He says he normally cuts his hair with shears. And thank goodness he has the experience because it's really paid off. Um, okay, so he's experienced and that doesn't actually look too bad. But what about the rest of us? You know how we're talking about we're all in this together and there are very serious aspects to this, but there are practical concerns too. Hashtag Corona cuts everywhere because people are trying to figure out the longer the lockdown continues what to do about their manes and for men, their beards. DIY, what do we do? We thought we'd find some expert advice for you. So let's go to Ottawa and say good morning to Tanya Clark, who's a stylist, lots of expertise for shorter cuts for women, men's hair as well. She works at headquarters in Ottawa and there she is at home in Ottawa. Hi, Tanya, welcome to our program. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Okay, basically, um, here's my first statement to you. Help. Okay. Help. <laughs> Honestly, I I feel so bad for so many people out there right now. Honestly, it's it's kind of crazy. I'm 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 coming from a place where I do mostly short haircuts. Uh-huh. And I focus a lot on um men as well too. So I've been getting a lot of feedback from people who have been calling me live and I've been doing live follow through haircuts with them. Okay, that's on my that's what I was wondering because your salon obviously is closed down. So what has happened in your world? Is everyone online and on the phone with you looking for assistance? Oh my, yeah. I mean, I pretty much have such a good relationship with a lot of my clients. So, I mean, I reach out to them as much as they reach out to me. Um, I brought some of my stuff here. Okay, I, show yes, you, you show me what you're telling them and how you're helping them because this people exactly watching us are also going to be wanting help. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, and I'm open. My door is open. I feel free to, like, help anybody as much as possible, you know. It's definitely a look good, feel good world out there. So, I mean, I've got my comb. I've got my scissors. Okay. I've got tools that people can purchase. And then I've also got this kind of dummy doll here that I've been working with to kind of show people how to work with their own hair. Okay, okay, give us a quick lesson. This is very good. You're right, online you can buy if you need the clippers and things like that, the razors, the clippers, if that's what you need. But but can you do yeah. a little with the, with, the, with the dummy doll there? Just give us some ideas. Anyone who needs a bang trim, for example. Oh my God, I've been telling people just don't cut your bangs. Don't you cut can't, bangs? If you can't cut your bangs, don't do it. <laughs> The thing is, is, with long hair, I mean, Heather, you know, you've got short hair, right? Mid, so you yes, yeah. You think at least once a month, you have to maintain your haircut. True. Correct? Yes. So with long hair, like, I have bangs here as well, too, that need to be cut. My, my hair is overdone, believe me, as well, too. But when it comes to scissors, it's a very technical technique um, that I find people can really, and I don't know if people are seeing those videos out there, they can really ruin their hair up. Um, but when it comes to shorter hair, you know, there's, there's a ton of different things that you can do. Like, even if you're locked away with somebody, you can have somebody take a tool and just kind of cut around the ear here, you know, or the back of the neck here and just kind of line it up, you know, and kind of clean up the back of the neck if they wanted to. The mullet risk is high, Tanya. The mullet risk is it's high, so I think. High. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with short hair, right? Okay, keep going. What do you, what do you do? What are you suggesting to the men who are calling wondering about just overall fades and you know all the, the close crop hair oh, that's okay. really I in and the beards before, oh these before and afters are just hilarious and i mean if you want to attempt to fade go for it the thing with short hair is it grows back in two weeks right so yes it's not something if you want to experiment you want to have fun with it i keep pushing my clients to do it i mean again if you're locked away with somebody have some fun with it meanwhile i'm open door so people can come to me and ask me questions as well too but I mean, even with a beard, like if your beard is growing out, it doesn't just grow down. It grows in every which direction, right? So <laughs> yes. one of my number one tips is always to take your clippers and just kind of lightly graze the outer edge of your beard to keep it kind of not a natural shape, but give it some sort of shape so it's not coming out like a bush, right? Chia pet. Chia pet in the making. Exactly. Okay, wait a That's second. It. Come back to that, that your little dummy there because... The color of the hair, this kind of fresh paint going on. Go beyond the cut. 
to color okay, so or not to color? This is the big question okay. for many people. We had a huge conversation with this at our shop because we felt the need that we needed to help our clients with color in some sort of way. You know, we talked about, okay, well, should we send them home with a care package? Should they color their hair? Should they not? Oh my God, I'm looking at these live photos right now. These are hilarious. Sorry, yes. they just came up. <laughs> but the color, I know there's a lot of women out there that, that struggle with gray hair, for instance, you know, and that comes right at the root, right up top here. Right. So we've been recommending if you've got you know, if your hair's black, you can use mascara if you needed to for those Zoom phone calls. You could use a powder if you wanted to. Um, but I mean, when there's it comes sprays to and hormones, there's there's box kits exactly. too, right? Can, are those okay to try? I mean, we've been telling our clients, if you want to have some fun with box colors, go for it. I had one of my clients bleach her hair out the other day and it did look good, but she felt something about it. Like people are out here being emotional and they don't know what to do, and they're running to a, a change of some sort to feel something different. So they're coloring their hair, they're box coloring their hair. But we don't recommend it because a lot of the stuff that we use is professional, right? So again, it comes down to we wouldn't send our clients home with professional product because we don't want them to ruin their hair. So we would rather them maintain what they have than try and mess around and have to fix up a big uh, mistake when they come back, right? You know, that's what my stylist told me, and you're just corroborating her. She didn't want me to give it a whirl. Who knows what would have happened? <laughs> okay, but, but, you know, it's funny because there would have been a run on so many different products in the stores, but right now they're saying the run is on box color sets in the grocery stores and in the pharmacies because this is what we're confronted with. So you're okay to yeah. use those to give it a try. Okay, sum up for us because we're heading into the weekend. This might be this might be a heavy grooming weekend for people. We're about a month into this now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. Definitely. Sum up. Oh, sum up some color. Yeah. No, no. Sum up the whole thing. What do we just give us the the top tips as we say goodbye to you because it's been so much fun. Just I would say, okay. I would say top tip here. Here are definitely my my tips of the day. I would say for men. Have some fun with your hair, style it, use some products you've never done before. You know, if you're with your wife, have some fun. Get her to try and style your hair. Um, as for women, I would say if you've got long hair, you are in the clear. You can curl your hair, you can crimp your hair, you can put it up in different ways. Have some fun with it. Don't try and cut it. I mean, with men too, I'm finding a lot of my clients, I try to get them to kind of try different styles. Well, guess what? Now's the time to grow it out. Now's the time to play with it. Learn your hair like you've never learned it before. And yeah, have some fun with it, is what I would say. <laughs> fun Friday DIY. <laughs> Tanya, thank you so much. And thanks, thanks for the for offer that done. anyone can, can uh, contact you and you'll give tips there in person. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Tanya Clark, who works at headquarters in Ottawa. Thanks. This is exactly what it kind of feels like, isn't it, when somebody cuts your hair when you're a little bit afraid? Connie Sun sent this in to us. Um, somebody is not too pleased at getting the trim. Nancy sent this. She and a friend with a bit of a gag photo because uh, their hairstylist sent out instructions on how to cut your own bangs. You see, Tanya says no bangs, but no cutting was actually involved in this apparently, but they, but they did have some fun. We'd love to see your Corona cuts. Thank you. This was a good success.